What's up coconuts? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with a bunch of makeup from Milk and Hourglass. I have like seven or eight products here in front of me that I'm just really curious about. I've been playing with for a couple of weeks and I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the fun things that are out there. First up we're going to be using the Luminous Blur Stick Primer from Milk. This is a matte illuminating primer which doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know how it can be luminous and matte at the same time. But the instructions on this are just to swipe it all over your face and then blend it and use it as a primer. I do have normal skin. Uh, they do say that this is good for all skin types and that if you have oily skin that you should apply it in your T-zone to absorb excess oil. So I'm not sure in what universe somebody with an oily T-zone would want like a shiny blur stick primer there. but. Hey, they, they made the makeup, they know what they're talking about. So I have been using this for like a couple of weeks and I'm not super keen on it. I don't really know how it works. So if you watch me there, I only put it on one half of my face because I just want to see myself and I want to see if you can tell on camera like a difference, right? So I'm only putting it on here. Swipe it on, I'll just show you a swatch. You can get a little bit, like it's really, really minimal. You really can't see a whole lot, like at all. And when I apply it, it feels pretty smooth. It doesn't feel like chalky or anything, but it does stick to some of my dry patches. So yes, it's probably good for normal skin and maybe people with more oily skin, but I would say if you have dry skin, definitely avoid the areas where you have any extra dryness because it will cling to it and look crappy. It retails for $43, which is a lot of money, especially considering I'm not really sure that it's doing a whole lot, but like I said, that's why we only did it on half, so we can kind of like really see up close and personal if it's making a difference under my makeup. One quick thing to mention, it has a really nice light citrus smell that is like gone already, so when you're applying it, it has a nice smell to it, but it does dissipate with within a couple of minutes. So if I'm looking up close here, like I can just kind of see like sweeps and swoops of gold, but it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot of like actual blurring or pore filling, which it doesn't claim to be doing, but it is supposed to be adding some blurring effects. So, so I'm just going to go in and slap my foundation on and I'll be right back. Okay, so definitely right off the bat, looking at this half of my face where we have the illuminating blur stick, I do see that like I'm a little bit more luminous on this side, but my makeup applied like really, really similar with and without the primer. So it is providing like a nice glowy effect over here and it's probably something that I would like sweep onto my cheekbones as it's nice and it's quick and easy, but for all over my face, I'm not sure that it's my favorite. So next I'm gonna be going in with the ambient lighting powder from Hourglass. This is in dim light. And to be honest, like I'm not someone that sets my face with powder a lot and I bought this just out of curiosity because people really like it, but I don't really get it. Like I don't see a huge difference. Maybe you can see on camera and, and with the lights and everything that it's adding some luminosity, but in person, I don't really see a big difference. So not 100% sure on this yet, but it is very nice. It does retail for $55 for the full size. I have the mini here, which I picked up for $32, no, $30. And it says just to use it all over your face to create a sensational multi-dimensional glow. I don't really think that's happening, but that's okay. <laughs> Next, we're gonna be hitting up some blush. We're gonna stay in the Hourglass family and use the Ambient Lighting Blush. This is in the shade Luminous Flush, and it is supposed to be a champagne gold kind of color. So just doing a quick swatch here. It's very, very faint. It is very buildable. And I have to say that I really, really quite like this stuff. Full size of this guy retails for $45. And again, I only picked up the mini just to give it a try and it was $32. So it is nice and faint, it's very buildable. I do feel like it gives you a nice luminous flush. The gold that is that you see in the pan here doesn't translate onto the face with any sort of sheen or glimmer. It just gives a very, very subtle flush. So, all right, so skipping back over to Milk Makeup, we are gonna be using the Holographic Highlighting Powder. I have the shade Mars which is supposed to be a holographic peach shade. In the pan, on camera, and in real person, it has like this really sort of beige tone to it. But when you swatch it, it's kind of gold, and then it has like a little bit of a pink shift to it. And in person, it has even more of a duochrome pink shift to it. So it says holographic peach, but it's airing a little bit on the electric pink side. So I'll slap some on for you. I'm just gonna be using like a nice densely packed brush just to concentrate it right up here on my cheekbones. 
This is not one that I want going down into my cheek area because it it will highlight texture and pores because it is very, very highlighty and holographic. Now when you put it on, it doesn't look like crazy at first, but it's quite buildable. And I have to say that this lasts all day. Like I've been using this for about a week or so and I noticed that, you know, four or five o'clock after my makeup's been on for like 10, a good 10, 11 hours, I can still totally see this peach pinky shift here. This guy retails for $30, which I don't think is terrible for like a mid to high end highlighter. I mean, you're only getting the one shade in here, but like I said, it did last all day and it might be worth picking up if you want something that's like really actually a duochrome, high quality, vegan, cruelty free, all that good stuff. And it is something that will last you all day. So $30, I don't think is terrible for something that's just a little bit different. Like I just haven't seen a highlighter with this specific shift to it. So it is kind of fun and funky. I'm well into my 30s and I don't feel like it's too youthful for me. And I do think it's one that's probably good for quite a few skin tones. Okay, so next we're going to... Okay, so we're gonna be using the Oil Lip Stain from Milk. I have the shade Vibes. So it's very faint here. It is supposed to just give like a nice wash of color to your lips. It's infused with vitamin E, black currant oil, and olive oil, so it, it feels pretty nice and slick on the lips. And what I do like about it, it's supposed to like be really, really moisturizing, which I do find, but it does leave like a nice stain on it. So I put it on now so we can kind of see at the end of the video sort of how it melts down. But when I've been wearing this like throughout the day, I noticed that I put it on, you know, I have some coffee, do some talking, whatever, and a couple hours later, I just have that nice like little bit of color left that I can easily touch up by just sliding a little bit more on this. So I really like this. This retails, I think, for like 22 bucks or something. I don't actually even know, uh, but it is good. I do like it. It doesn't, it doesn't like bleed or anything, which is really nice given how slick it feels. Um, but it's, it's just a lip gloss. Like it's, I'm not crazy about it. So we will touch back on it at the end of the video just to kind of see how it lasts. But I just wanted to pop it on now because my lips are dry. For eyeshadow, we are going to be using the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. I have the shade Smoke. I absolutely love this stuff. I've had it for quite a while. And I just did a really basic outline using the Cap On D Shade and Light Eye Palette, which is awesome. And now I'm just going to be taking the Glitter Light Eyeshadow on my finger and just packing it on where I want a little bit of shimmer and shine. This stuff retails for $38, so it is not cheap at all. However, I've been using this for a couple months now. I use it fairly regularly because it's really easy to create a nice pretty eye look. And I barely, I feel like I barely dipped into it. So while it is $38, I do feel like it's gonna last me quite a while. I think there are four other shades and I'm actually super curious to try them because this is a great, great formula. I have normal skin, but I have crazy crazy oily eyelids i have no idea why if i even think that my eyeshadow is going to crease it's going to crease but this stuff even though it, it kind of has the idea and the feel and the texture of a moderately creamy eyeshadow it does not crease at all like legitimately after 10 11 hours it still looks quite quite nice so 38 dollars, yes highly 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 recommend this especially if you have oily eyelids you will be you will be amazed you will be amazed so I've gone back in and just like intensified it a little bit and I think I grabbed just a little bit too much and I have a little bit of fallout. So just be forewarned about that, but that is something that you typically don't have to worry about, which is another great thing about this product. Okay, so next we're gonna throw on some brows because they are driving me absolutely crazy looking like this. I'm just combing them through and I'm gonna be using the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This guy retails for 22 bucks, which I think is like a pretty good price for, you know, a mid to high end brow product. It's a really, really tiny spoolie and you've got these heart-shaped hemp fibers, whatever those are, that are supposed to add like a lot of fullness to your brows. So like you just saw, I only brushed them through. I didn't put a pencil in because I kind of want to show you like what it's able to do just completely on its own. This is something that I would consider to be like a one and done brow product if you're sort of in a hurry. You can just kind of comb it through get them looking as nice and thick and full as you like, and then leave it. Done, done and done. I have the shade Haze, 
which is their blondy kind of taupey color. They do have a medium brown color and a dark brown color. And I am super curious to pick up the medium brown because I do think that it would match me a little bit better. So it's not giving you like these snatched Instagram brows that you know you would be able to achieve if you were penciling them in first or really defining them. But if you're in a hurry and you just want to get out the door and you want to use something that's vegan and cruelty free and it has hemp in it, it does dry down a little bit as well. So you, your brows aren't going to move a whole lot, but they don't feel like super crusty or crunchy, which I really like. Last but not least, we are going to be using the Caution Mascara. This has been kind of all over YouTube for the last little while, and I was just super curious about it. So I do have the mini. The full size retails for 34 bucks. Mini was 17 It has sort of this tapered brush. The bristles are nice and firm. It does look like it's picked up quite a bit of product, and it is very 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 black which I absolutely love and I believe the shade is is just black uh oh the first time I put this on I was like okay it's mascara it's pretty good but the more that you layer it and the more that you build it the the better it starts to look it is a, a layering and buildable formula it's kind of wet but it's not too wet and you do have a couple minutes to kind of work with it so this is like two coats right here and on the bottom lashes this is one thing that I was like quite impressed about is that I have pretty non-existent bottom lashes and I, I've been using this for like the last week or so and the bottom lashes not only did they not smudge they lasted all day like literally at the end of the day I was like oh I still have bottom lashes cool no smudging no creasing just a little bit of setting powder under there so highly highly impressed with this is it like worth $34 I'm not sure but it's a really good mascara I like the brush it does feel like it kind of grabs onto your lashes so you can kind of like wiggle product through and add some volume while separating and then adding of course color all right so makeup is all done I do just want to mention that the oil lip stain has like pretty much dried down I do feel like a little bit of mm, you know slick there like my lips still feel moisturized but it has just left that nice wash of pink. So I do really like the oil lip stain. All right, everybody, that is it for today's video. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something about some of these products. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe go check out some of my other ones. And I would really hope to see you in my next one. Aloha.